Glucosinolate, Wikipedia Audio The glucosinolates are natural components of many pungent plants such as mustard, cabbage, and horseradish. The pungency of those plants is due to mustard oils produced from glucosinolates when the plant material is chewed, cut, or otherwise damaged. These natural chemicals most likely contribute to plant defense against pests and diseases, but are also enjoyed in small amounts by humans and are believed to contribute to the health-promoting properties of cruciferous vegetables. Glucosinolates constitute a natural class of organic compounds that contain sulfur and nitrogen and are derived from glucose and an amino acid. They are water-soluble anions and can be leached into the water during cooking. Glucosinolates belong to the glucosides. Every glucosinolate contains a central carbon atom which is bound via a sulfur atom to the thioglucose group and via a nitrogen atom to a sulfate group. In addition, the central carbon is bound to a side group, different glucosinolates have different side groups, and it is variation in the side group that is responsible for the variation in the biological activities of these plant compounds. Some glucosinolates Glucosinolates occur as secondary metabolites of almost all plants of the order Brassicles. Ordered in the Brassicles are for example the economically important family Brassicaceae as well as Caparaceae and Caracaceae. Outside of the Brassicles, the genera Drupetes and Putrangiva in the family Putrangivaceae are the only other known occurrence of glucosinolates. Glucosinolates occur in various edible plants such as cabbage watercress, horseradish, capers and radishes where the breakdown products often contribute a significant part of the distinctive taste. Chemistry Diamondback moths, which are pests of cruciferous plants, may recognize the presence of glucosinolates, allowing them to identify the proper host plant. The glucosinolates are also found in seeds of these plants. About 132 different glucosinolates are known to occur naturally in plants. They are synthesized from certain amino acids, so-called aliphatic glucosinolates derived from mainly methionine, but also alanine, leucine, isoleucine, or valine. Aromatic glucosinolates include indolic glucosinolates, such as glucobrassicin, derived from tryptophan and others from phenylalanine, its chain elongated homologue homophenylalanine, and cyanalbin derived from tyrosine. Sinigrin is the precursor to allyl isothiocyanate, glucotropiolin is the precursor to benzyl isothiocyanate, gluconastertian is the precursor to phenethyl isothiocyanate, Glucoraphanin is the precursor to sulforaphane. The plants contain the enzyme myrosinase, which, in the presence of water, cleaves off the glucose group from a glucosinolate. The remaining molecule then quickly converts to an isothiocyanate, a nitrile, or a thiocyanate, these are the active substances that serve as defense for the plant. Glucosinolates are also called mustard oil glycosides. The standard product of the reaction is the isothiocyanate, the other two products mainly occur in the presence of specialized plant proteins that alter the outcome of the reaction. To prevent damage to the plant itself, the myrosinase and glucosinolates are stored in separate compartments of the cell and come together only or mainly under conditions of physical injury. The use of glucosinolate-containing crops as primary food source for animals can have negative effects if the concentration of glucosinolate is higher than what is acceptable for the animal in question. Some glucosinolates have been shown to have toxic effects in both humans and animals at high doses. However, tolerance level to glucosinolates varies even within the same genus. The glucosinolate sinigrin, among others, 
was shown to be responsible for the bitterness of cooked cauliflower and Brussels sprouts. Glucosinolate have been shown to alter animal eating behavior. Plants producing large amounts of glucosinolates are under basic research for potential actions against cancer, with the hydrolysis product of the glucoraphanin, sulforaphane, being the best known example. Most recently, a randomized controlled study evaluating the effects of broccoli seed supplementation on autism spectrum disorder is underway. The makeup of glucosinolates and their hydrolysis products varies by vegetable. Substances derived from plants producing large amounts of glucosinolates can serve as natural pesticides. Plants with glucosinolates A characteristic, specialized insect fauna is found on glucosinolate-containing plants, including familiar butterflies such as large white, small white, and orange tip, but also certain aphids, moths such as the southern armyworm, sawflies, flea beetles, etc. For instance, the large white butterfly oviposits its eggs on these glucosinolate-containing plants because they help the larvae survive. The biochemical basis of these specializations are being unraveled. The whites and orange tips all possess the so-called nitrile specifier protein, which diverts glucosinolate hydrolysis toward nitriles rather than reactive isothiocyanates. In contrast, the diamondback moth possesses a completely different protein, glucosinolate sulfatase, which desulfates glucosinolates thereby making them unfit for degradation to toxic products by myrosinase. Other kinds of insects sequester glucosinolates. In specialized aphids, but not in sawflies, a distinct animal myrosinase is found in muscle tissue, leading to degradation of sequestered glucosinolates upon aphid tissue destruction. This diverse panel of biochemical solutions to the same plant chemical plays a key role in current attempts to understand the evolution of plant-insect relationships. Biochemistry Natural diversity from a few amino acids Enzymatic activation Biological effects Humans and other mammals Toxicity Taste and eating behavior Research Insects